for almost a week, Kayunga in Nansana Municipality in Wakiso District has had no power. The locals claim that they raised their complaint to the area Umeme offices, but no action has been taken. Those selling perishables are counting losses. You can't stay in an area which is in town for four days without power. Is it possible? People of saloons operate on power. People of villages use power. So how do you think we are going to survive? We have families to This morning, they resorted to a demonstration to express their grievances. When police and the army learned of the demonstration, they quickly stormed the area. But instead of dispersing the demonstrators, the men in uniform pounced on the journalists who were covering the demonstration. All their equipment and mobile phones were destroyed by the soldiers who refused to listen even when the reporters pleaded that they were journalists. It took the intervention of journalist rights activist Robert Sempala before the local police station accepted the injured journalist to record a case. Our work is very well, very well cut out to continue defending the rights of the unprivileged. And journalists have become central targets of these attacks as we speak. The beating of journalists comes just days after Enokamatov, the NTV correspondent in Mitiana, was beaten by military men. The UPDF had recently committed to maintain a good relationship with the media after several cases of brutality against reporters made the news in the recent months that this has happened just days after we engaged in a series of activities to mend fences with the army in this country. We did go and dine and made lots of U.S. statements. But this comes nearly a week before the media fraternity marks the World Press Freedom Day on 3rd May. Jingo Francis, NTV.